You gotta have a little faith, 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 a little faith, a little faith, 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 except Reapers. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is my review for Faith from the first season of Supernatural. This episode is actually one of the better filler episodes too. The episode starts off with Sam and Dean rescuing these kids from this weird looking scarecrow walking motherfucker. And the only way that they can kill it is by electrifying it. And Dean has a stun gun, he shoots it while it's in water, and he is in the water, so he gets electrocuted. His heart basically has a massive heart attack. He's given a couple of weeks to live by the local hospital, and Sam is trying to figure out how to save him. He calls dad, dad is an answer, of course. So he takes them to a faith healer, which, if I'm correct, I think this was filmed out in Pit Meadows. When they go in, Dean, despite being a skeptic, is chosen to come up onto the stage, and he is healed. But before everything's over, as he's recovering from the whole healing thing, he sees this man in a suit with a really, really dried out face. They do some little digging and they find out that there is a reaper attached to this faith healing uh, couple. It turns out that whenever someone is healed, a reaper who is on their chain kills someone in order to save that other person. And actually, the person that is killed to save Dean. There's a deleted scene of it, and admittedly it's actually kind of funny to see Supernatural filmed back then without the cell shading, without the whole dark uh, filtering, as well as without any of the light effects. When all the lights start going out, there's no like any sort of noises like that. It's very quiet and there's no real music and it's kind of funny to just watch this guy like, overact. It turns out that it's actually it's the wife is using old pagan magic or whatever. So while they want to try and sabotage her, Julie Benz is in this episode too and she's sick and Dean and her have kind of this relationship because while he wants her to be saved, he feels that she should be saved. He can't let this happen because he can't let another person die because he's already let someone die to save his life. And then what follows after that they're discovered and Sam breaks the charm and the wife is killed, there's this really cool interaction between the two. I always liked the pairing of these two, and I wish Julie Benz would could have come back for more episodes. I thought this was cool that, at least back in 2005, there has always been that stigmatism of women should be younger than the men. Well, Julie Benz is eight. Uh, uh, Julie Benz is six years older than Jensen Ackles here, so I like that. They kind of didn't even bother with that. They didn't play off that she was older. They said they were the same age, and I like that. It's just. Again, progressivism back in 2005 was, it was okay, but it wasn't the best. So I like that aspect. Other great moments to talk about with this episode is, of course, Blue Oyster Cult's inclusion of Don't Fear the Reaper, which was not in the Netflix version, but it's a good thing that I had seen that ahead of time because Supernatural has been removed from Canadian Netflix. So hopefully it gets removed from American Netflix too and then the show can die. But of course, I also asked you guys what you thought of the Faith episode when I did my Scarecrow episode, so I'm gonna read for you some of those responses. This one's from Rob Anna. Uh, Faith, the episode pretty much introduced the religious aspect of supernatural mythos. A very well written episode, very well written. Dean's lack of faith and Sam's doing anything to save his brother. Yep, everything can be stemmed from this episode. Uh, this one's also from Hollow Man. Ah, Faith. The first of many times Sam and Dean avoid the Reaper. At least back then it came at a price. Funny how Cass probably could have solved this problem in a few seconds. Finally, this is from ONF123. Faith is in my top three best supernatural episodes. The first viewing of the Reaper and it was just an amazing episode. Can't wait for the review. So in the end, this episode is good. It's a little bit plain with certain aspects. There are some incredibly cheesy moments when Julie Benz' mother is talking about her her illness, her daughter's illness. Instead of just looking at Dean, she turns, walks past Julie Benz, and stares dramatically at, <laughs> at the distance or whatever. Says what is wrong with her daughter, and Julie Benz turns and puts a hand on her shoulder. It, it, that was corny. But otherwise, I still do enjoy this episode. It's a filler episode, yeah, but it does kind of start the whole, is there such a thing as God, 
as angels mythos, that supernatural, really embedded into you this kind of questioning nature for the first two seasons, and in the third season too, and then it kind of blew you away in season four with the whole introduction of angels. It is one of the more stand-up episodes of season one, so I'm going to give this episode a five out of seven. It's a very enjoyable episode. I enjoyed it for sure. Route 666 is up next. This is a kind of an average episode, but if any of you guys have any comments about that episode, I'd love to see them in the comments below, and I'll talk about them in the following review. Anyways, that's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.